This is Paul from Paul's Predatory Fish. I'm back, baby. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is my absence. So as you all might know, or have noticed, I haven't been very active in the YouTube community, and uh, subtly not as active on Instagram as well. So I wanna kind of explain Give you guys some details of what's been going on there's been a crazy amount of stuff going on in our lives lately between me and my girlfriend and just life in general so but as you can see there's been some changes i don't know if you can tell we've got uh the 210 behind me right now beautiful fish the peacock bass we got some gar in there on this side we've got a bunch of monster fish in an odd size tank and we will go more into detail and explain what the story behind this tank is how it got here the process of how we fixed it repaired it so to speak what our plans with it are for the future so i'll get the lights turned on here so you can see them it is powered by the fluval i can't remember the name exactly i'll put a little blip great light great uh, tank setup so let's uh show you what we got i apologize for the mess this tank is located in my basement, so there are a lot of cobwebs. As you can see, I get rid of them daily, but it's a constant battle. They're always, you know, reappearing. These spiders with winter coming are just driving me insane. They're building uh, webs left and right, but it is what it is. So this is a 350 gallon fiberglass tank with one big main glass viewing panel. It's 48 inches by 48 inches by 48 inches. So four foot by four foot by four foot. And it is, uh, it's an odd size tank. Like I said, it doesn't have a very good footprint, but it's more of like just a, a big tub, if you will. It goes back quite far. Like I said, don't, don't mind the cobwebs. It's housing all my monster fish currently. A couple of these I'm trying to get rid of. This is not a forever home for these fish. Um, the footprint is just, it's, it's terrible in my opinion. It's not the best footprint. It's a large tank, but small footprint. So it, it, it kind of doesn't give the fish room to swim back and forth. They just are grouped together doing donuts. And uh, sometimes that doesn't help with aggression. The Paku goes after the giant Garami. The giant Garami goes after the Paku. It's a never ending battle, but I'm hoping to get them into something a little bit longer so they can swim back and forth a little easier and kind of create their own territories. You'll have somebody on the left, somebody on the right, instead of being all grouped together. Inside, we've got my big silver arowana, the black or red belly paku, my ripsaw catfish, looking great. Got that from Global Fish Co. My granulosis catfish, my giant black wolf. This is a, like a 15 to 16 inch black wolf fish, guys. He is, he is gorgeous. Beautiful fish. But we've got some new faces, old faces, and some missing faces, sadly. You guys might remember, I used to have a very large flagtail Prochilotus, which unfortunately passed away. His name was Smooch. He was at least three, four years old. I'm not sure how exactly it happened, jumped out of the tank, landed behind the tank, and found him dried up. It is what it is, it's entirely my fault. I've got very uh, minimalistic lids on this tank. I do have clamps, because they hold all the filters on, but somehow he got through the plexiglass and the clamps and just, it is what it is, but. Crystal clear water, beautiful tank. The glass on the inside, is a little, uh, you can see some algae here and there and some, you know, calcium buildup. I'll break out the algae uh, scrubber soon and get that nice and tidy. But I did hit it with some Fritz glass cleaner. Uh, Martin's Fish Keeper sent me that a while back. Shout out to him for that. Makes the glass crystal clear. Fantastic. Hey, yo, Cloudy, just run the shit up. Like I mentioned, um, this fiberglass tank, I'm gonna do a whole story just on the tank itself, where I got it, how it was brought here, you know, refurbished, 
and how we basically got it operational. So it's a great tank. It's its own story and its own. So we'll show you when the time comes. But check out this guy. Always active. Giant black wolf, guys. Monster. Alrighty, so let's get into the reason for my absence and what is new and what has happened in the period of my absence. So the main reason for my absence is a lot of life stuff has gotten in the way. We've been doing a lot of remodeling on our new house that we bought. We, we just bought our new house, I believe February of this year. So we haven't been in it very long, but we've, we've been doing lots of uh, remodeling, lots of repairs, tons and tons of repairs. It was a fixer upper. So a lot of you who have, you know, bought a fixer upper or just buying their first home, you know, you, you can understand it's, it's a lot to take on at, you know, at a young age, it's, it's a lot. So that we adopted a dog. Her name is Mia, she's a sweetheart. She is a Pressa Canario Cane Corso Bull Mastiff mix. She's she's a mutt, but she's she's a sweetheart. She's about five six years old. Beautiful dog, and uh, like I said, you know she's a sweetheart. She's always got to be right up near you. She loves to protect you, but in like a subtle way. She loves people. She loves kids, and she's uh, she's just an overall great dog. So in a future video, we'll bring her down here, and we'll, we'll uh, I'll show you how she interacts with all of our animals, the rabbits, the turtles, the fish. She loves everybody, especially the rabbits. So I'll show you a quick clip of her, you know, in her first introduction to the fish. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But um, anyway, what is new? If you haven't already noticed, I've been using substrate. I've been using black diamond blasting sand and I believe it's uh, one fourth, I forget what the grid is, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you the bag. But I've been using lots and lots of black diamond sand. It's inert, so it's not gonna affect your pH. It's not gonna affect uh, the water quality. If anything, it'll help with good bacteria. So inside this tank as well, I've got the black diamond blasting sand. And I've got these white rocks, which are like a quartz almost like a white quartz. I'm not positive if it's quartz. Um, you can let me know down in the comments basically what you think it is, but it's definitely inert because I've had no issues with my uh, water quality or, or pH or anything like that. Everything's been spot on, luckily. This tank actually had a little bit of hole in the head with my peacock bass, but they are doing much better now. I've been using Prazi Pro, which is, it's decent. I've had good luck with it. It's not my favorite medication to use, but it is what it is. What else is new? Um, if you couldn't tell, I shaved my head. It's Britney, bitch. But that concludes uh, today's video. The next video should be a lot longer, more in depth, more focused on the fish, more focused on some type of fish related plan or uh, project. We'll make sure to let you guys know what's going on and give you guys a heads up or an update or something on Instagram. We'll let you guys know. But like I said, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and uh, comment down below what you thought of the video and what you want me to do next because I'm hopefully going to be uh, posting a lot more on YouTube. I'm gonna try to get more uh, pictures, videos, reels out on Instagram, but uh, I'm gonna try to be focusing on YouTube a lot more. I'm gonna be trying to get the, the, the weekly videos out and stuff like that, but alrighty guys. Have a good one.